First reading A reading from the book of Ruth chapter 2 verse 1 verse 1 to 3 verse 8 to 11 and chapter 4 verse 13 to 17 Naomi had a prominent kinsman named Boaz of the clan of her husband Elimelech Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi Let me go and glean ears of grain in the field of any one who will allow me that favor naomi said to her go my daughter and she went the field she entered to glean after the harvesters happened to be the section belonging to boaz of the clan of elimelech boaz said to ruth listen my daughter do not go to glean in anyone else's field you are not to live here Stay here with my women servants. Watch to see which field is to be harvested and follow them. I have commanded the young men to do you no harm. When you are thirsty, you may go and drink from the vessels the young men have filled. Casting herself prostrate upon the ground, Ruth said to him, Why should I, a foreigner, be favored with your notice boaz answered her i have had a complete account of what you have done for your mother in law after your husband's death you have left your father and your mother and the land of your birth and have come to a people whom you did not know previously boaz to ruth when they came together as man and wife The Lord enabled her to conceive and she bore a son. Then the women said to Naomi, Blessed is the Lord who has not failed to provide you today with an heir. May he become famous in Israel. He will be your comfort and the support of your old age. For his mother is the daughter-in-law who loves you. She is worth more to you then seven sons naomi took the child placed him on her lap and became his nurse and the neighbor women gave him his name at the news that a grandson had been born to naomi they called him obed he was the father of jess the father of david the word of the lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples saying, The scribes and Pharisees have taken their seat on their chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example, for they preach, but they do not practice. they tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders but they will not lift a finger to move them all their works are performed to be seen they widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels they love places of honor at banquets seats of honor in synagogues greetings in marketplaces and the salutation rabbi as for you do not be called rabbi you have but one teacher and you are all brothers call no one on earth your father you have but one father in heaven do not be called master you have but one master the christ the greatest among you must be your servant Whoever exalts himself will be humbled but whoever humbles himself will be exalted the gospel of the lord 
My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today in the Gospels, Jesus is a bit critical on the life patterns of Pharisees. In the synoptics, always the Pharisees are portrayed as uh, kind of a negative uh, people. Their character is not shown as a positive, having positive impact upon the people. Jesus seems to criticize their character. What is the reason behind these criticisms? Sometimes we also can be very pharisaic in our lives. So we need to understand this very carefully. Most often than not, we tend to separate our religious life from our ordinary day-to-day -day life. We keep our rel religiosity to the religious practices that we have and we tend to have the communion with God only to that moment and then we, as usual, go on in our day-to-day -day lives. But then, if we were to follow Jesus radically, this dichotomy shouldn't happen in our lives. We shouldn't separate our life of religion or the religious life and the life of the ordinary day-to-day -day activities. This is not two separate things. They are one and the same thing. So if we are following Jesus without being pharisaic in our actions, our spirituality or our faith should be illustrated, should be shown in our day-to-day -day activities. The love that we speak in the Bible, that we reflect at the Mass, the sacrifice that we celebrate in the Mass, should be reflected, projected, illustrated in our day-to-day -day activities. We should be offering the same sacrifice in our day-to-day -day living. And also, as Jesus says, the Pharisees tell something and do something else. This shows us the importance of telling things what we can do and telling only that what we can do. Most of the time we tend to exaggerate the things that we can do. We don't see this as a sin but then in order to make, us, make our lives better or to show that our lives are better, we always try to make this bad choice of exaggerating things in our lives. So today, we have an invitation. Invitation to be authentic in our life activities. Invitation to bring our faith to our concrete days, to our workshops, to our homes, to the school, to the classroom, and to the society and build God's kingdom in our daily routine.